So welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to look at two ways to prove triangles are congruent. So we're looking at triangle congruent postulates and we're looking at two of those. There are more than two but that we're only going to focus on these two today. So what are congruent triangles? They're triangles that have three congruent angles and three congruent sides because a triangle has six parts and for two triangles to be congruent all three angles one two these two and these two have to be congruent and the sides all have to be congruent also and they all have to match up so we have three congruent angles and three congruent sides so the first postulate we're going to look at is the side 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 uh, congruence postulate and of these six parts to prove two tri triangles are congruent we don't need all six we only need three so what are the three we're going to look for we're going to look at the three sides this one is the easiest to, to identify it's very easy you just identify that three sides are congruent so it says three sides of one triangle congruent to three sides of a second triangle then that means the triangles must be congruent to each other so you're going to see something like this some markings this side is congruent to this side and then the third side is congruent to a third side and what this tells me is i have two scalene triangles and they're scalene because i have different markings on all three sides so that means the measures are all different but these sides match up these sides match up and those sides match up okay and that's how you identify the side 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 congruence postulate the second one we're going to look at is a side angle side postulate um, what we have is we have two sides that are congruent to each other so you may see something like this this side and this, this side are congruent and maybe this side and this side are congruent so you only have two of the sides but you have what we call an included angle and that is the angle that's between these two sides that are congruent so that would mean these two angles would have to match so we see a side an included angle that's right between those two sides and the side and the same thing in a second triangle a side an included angle and a side so when the two sides and the included angle are congruent we have side angle side so just be careful that they are in that order okay so let's look at a couple examples down here okay it says determine if each pair of triangles is congruent by side 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 or side angle side again we're going to learn some more but these are the only two we're focusing on today and we're going to finish the congruent statement if we do see they're congruent so if it's not one of these two we're just going to write none for now okay so let's look at this first one we have the triangle uh, b i g and what markings do we have well we have this side here and it matches up with this side over here so b i is congruent to f a okay and then we have an angle i that's congruent to an angle a so we have an angle and then we have a second side ig and it's congruent to aj and that's another side in a side so what order do we see we see this as side angle side so there's one of our postulates we just looked at a side angle side postulate so now let's make our congruence statement big this triangle is congruent to the triangle and we have to name them in the corresponding order faj okay so there's our first one so now let's look at the second one okay we have angle s is congruent to angle t so we have an angle and an angle then up here at angle l we have angle l and angle y that are congruent to each other and then angle m that's an angle and angle n so what have we marked we've got angle 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 do we have an angle 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 postulate we don't so this one is none that one doesn't have uh, any way to prove congruency yet um, and actually with angle 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 they're never going to be necessarily congruent they could be congruent 
they would always be similar though. So if all three angles match, it just means they're similar triangles. Okay, let's look at the third one. Okay, on this one we have an angle D and an angle A O, and those two are congruent. Then the very next in line we have an angle over here and an angle down here. So we have two angles in a row and then a side that's way over here. It's not between the two, it's over here on the side and it's congruent to this side. So what order is this in? It's an A, an angle, an angle, then a side. Is that one of our two? So this one's none either because it's not in the right order and we have two angles and a side instead of two sides with an included angle. Okay, let's look at a third one, or fourth one, excuse me. Let's look at this one, okay? This one we have FP is congruent to RV, so we have a side. And then we have PL, it's got two little tick marks, and it's congruent to RO. And then FL is congruent to o OV, so we have a third side. So this is the easiest one to see. This one is a side, side, side congruency. Okay, now we have to be careful about naming it because if we're gonna go from F to L to P, we're gonna have to start at which vertex? We're gonna have to start at V because V and F are corresponding. They're the angle that's, that are between the ones with one mark and three marks. So this one's one mark and three marks, so it's gotta be this angle. So F and V correspond, so that's V. And then I'm gonna go down my, the side that's marked with three so that's an L, so that's, I'm gonna to go to the side with three, that's an O, and then I'm gonna end at R. So VOR is the corresponding triangle to FLP. Okay, let's look at the next one, okay? The next one we have a side OH, or HO, and it's congruent to this side, so let's mark those as sides. Then we have angle O, and we have angle Y, and then we have a side from A to T, and then another side from Y to A. So this one's a side angle side, side angle side. Yes, they both match. So side angle side, and then H O T would have to score correspond to, well, H corresponds to D, so D Y A, triangle D Y A. And let's look at this, this next one. Okay, we have an angle here, and it matches an angle G. And then I have a side here, and I have a side here, and then I have L and N that are corresponding. So I have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, but we don't know if those are congruent. So out of the two we know, which are side, 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 angle, side, we don't know that those are congruent. Okay, let's look at this next one. We have angle, 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 and then we have an angle, 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 but yet we have this extra side in between. So let's focus on this. We get an angle, and then we have a side, and we have an angle, and then this one is an angle, a side, and an angle, and then a fourth angle, or a third angle. Angle, side, angle, an angle, is that one of our choices? Our choices are side, 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 or side, angle, side. And we don't have two sides, we only have two angles. So this one would have to be none. Let's look at this next one. Okay, remember we need at least two sides. So this one, HP is S, there's a side, AT is a side, then A, our angle P is an angle and angle I is an angle. And then we have angle A is an angle and angle C is an angle. And we again don't have the two sides we need. We only have two angles and a non-included side. So that's none of these. Okay, let's look at this last one. This last one, we only have two markings. We have a side here and we have a side here. And we have an angle here and we have an angle here. But what's different about this one is this side PT is in both triangles. It's in this APT and it's in this YTP. It's shared in both sides, so it's congruent to itself, so we can use it on both sides. 
So that gives us a side and angle and a side, a side and angle and a side. So this one's going to be side angle side. Okay, so let's look. PAT, this triangle, would correspond to TYP, triangle TYP. And if you're not seeing that one, remember P correspond with T on this side. Angle A corresponds with angle Y. And then this angle down here, I'm going to mark it with three marks. It's corresponding with this one. So you can see those two match. So there you go. That's how you figure out either your side, 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 or your side, angle, side congruencies and write these statements. Now, if you're not seeing it, don't panic. I'm going to post this on the blog also. And it's some extra practice on side, 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 and side, angle, side. So you're looking at your diagrams and trying to figure it out. Okay, there are, let's see, 18 of these. The first 10, you're looking at the diagram and trying to figure out which one it is. Is it side, 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 or side, angle, side? And then the second page, you're trying to figure out what extra information needs to be given to make them into the side, 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 or the side, angle, side. So for example, on number 11, we have HI is congruent to GI. And we know that we have vertical angles here. So, so far I have a side and an angle. And then the same thing in this triangle, a side and an angle. So to do side, angle, side, I need a third part. And in this case, I need another side. Well, what's the next side? Well, it ha would have to be JI being congruent to IE, this one. So I would say, well, JI has to be congruent to EI in order to prove by side, angle, side. So I'm looking for that third piece of information I need to prove that these triangles are similar using each postulate. So you've got those practice that runs through number 18. Uh, the key will be at the back of that, so you can go back and refer to it. So if you're having trouble seeing it, print this out, get this a little, give this a little practice, and then you're also going to have your homework. So hopefully between those two things and the notes that I just did for you, you're going to do well. So thank you for listening and finish up that homework.